Previously on The Biggest Loser, the biggest season ever began with the battle to be chosen. Not all of you are going to get picked. The contestants were put to the test to find out who would make it and who <laughs> would be sent home. Hey, I picked David. The blue and red teams were chosen and bust away. Bye-bye! But there was a surprise in store for the unchosen. Who is that? Jillian Michaels is back to train the secret black team. You're not going home! And she's tougher than ever. Show me! Quit! I won't do it! Quit. Walk back down and quit! The red and blue teams were introduced to their new home, the Biggest Loser Campus, and their new gym. Ten more! Tell him not to quit! Our players were confronted with their atrocious eating habits. Oh my god, do you want this in your arteries? While the black team fought for their lives in the desert, That's it, sink it down! The red and blue teams put up astonishing numbers at their first weigh-in. <laughs> The oldest contestant in Biggest Loser history, Jerry, lost 31 pounds. After the blue team's landslide victory, the red team was forced to send someone packing. The person I voted for is Amber. And in the end, Amber was sent home. In their first week alone, the contestants lost an astonishing 265 pounds. How much weight will they lose this week? and who will be sent home to continue their transformation. Find out next on The Biggest Loser. So do it today, yeah Cause I can see you miles away from that campus and we need to be because I need privacy with my team right now they're not ready but I have a week to get them ready so we can go into that house and compete it's time for us to have our first official weigh in it's been a long week you guys have been working hard the weigh in it's intimidating because this is what we're here for we're here to get healthy we're here to lose the weight and so to, to see if all the hard work and efforts really paying off, it gets you a bit anxious. Isabel, you're going to be first. When you first weighed in, you were 298. Bozy. Bozy. And today you are 290. Yes. Wow. wow. Good job, nice. CP. Nicely done. It felt really good to drop eight pounds. I feel like it's a great beginning. I feel like I have a long way to go. And the red and blue team, they just better watch out. Ooh, you're next. Hop on up. My relationship with the scale is pitiful. I hate that thing. You weighed in at 218. Today you're 216. You lost two pounds. It's good. Don't worry about it. We're working hard. I have health concerns regarding my weight. Three years ago, my husband and I started trying to have another baby. And um, we went to see a fertility doctor and they diagnosed me with, with what's called polycystic ovaries. And um, really, the best treatment for that is losing weight. And um, they told me that with every pound that I gain, it's gonna become in more and more increasingly harder to have a child. So it doesn't just affect me, but it affects my family. Holly, you're next. When you first weighed in, you were 255. Step on up. Go Holly! They're 244. Plus yeah. 11 pounds. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job Very good. Jez, you're next. You were 345 when you first weighed in. 
Now you are 329. Wow. wow. You've lost 16 pounds. I lost 16 pounds in a week, which is just ridiculous, you know? And uh, I need to, to lose this weight and be healthy for once in my life and to begin a complete change in my life and how I live, to, to live the, the next half of my life healthy and fit and self-confident, not only outside, but inside. Don, how do you feel? Body feels stronger and I just, I feel better. It's only up from here. Only or down. Down. <laughs> down. Way down. Well done. Okay, Jimmy, you're next. When you first weighed in, you were 361. Oh. Now you're 350, you've lost 11 pounds. All right. If you've got a twin, you root for them and you pray for them, and you know you hope the best for them, and the fact that he's here is a blessing. And the fact that we're here together is a blessing as well. And last, but certainly not least, Bill, you weighed in at 334. Big numbers. Come on, big numbers. Now you're 313. Whoa! You lost 21 pounds. You know what? We're all sticking together. We're the renegade team, the black team. When that red and blue team see us again, they're going to have something to worry about. And we look forward to when that's going to happen. Let's go and get our workout on. What do you think? Let's do it. Yeah. Who do wants it. a beating? <laughs> Oh, the joy of the day after the elimination. How are we doing? Overall, I think it went pretty good. I mean, it really did, but I don't want to go there again. I woke up this morning and looked over where Amber's bed was and her bags were gone. You know, it's a, it's a reality. It's kind of a, a kick in the pants that we're going to have to be a little closer team, a little tighter team, work harder, and not be in that position again. It's hard to lose a team member, but at the same time, let's just keep up the mentality, keep up the team spirit, and do the best we can this week and every other week. We're all here, we all want to be here now, and uh, we're, we're ready to take that step forward. I've never seen skinny, I don't know what it is. Uh, it'd be interesting to see that and eventually be able to get on with the fire department. It's always been a goal of mine, but uh, the size that I am, I can't pass some of their tests. It'd be, it'd be nice to see to be able to go back and have absolutely no worries, and just go in and be like, this is easy compared to everything that I've gone through. I need to be here for my kids, you know, and as hard as it is every day to face that they're not here with me and that, you know, I'm not with them, I know I need to be here because my weight is endangering my health. Um, my father died at 46, you know, from diabetes. My mother is very overweight and has diabetes. And I don't want my kids to have to lose a parent at a young age. So grab your stuff and let's head to the gym. Santa Monica Mountain, let's go. My whole job right now is make sure that I'm doing everything I can possibly do to win the first two weigh-ins. What we need to be focused on now is one thing and one thing only. What do you think that is? The weigh-in. Weigh-in. In the military, you're trying to be proud of who you are so you do the best you can. And when I came here, it's like those feelings came back again, like something like switched in me. Like, you know, I wanted to be that soldier again. Everybody jog for one minute. I got you on the clock. You know, I want to become the strong person that I was before, and it's like, but I want to be better than I was before. I'm done being 225 pounds. I'm done with, you know, whining and saying I'm going to do it tomorrow. You know, stop delaying. You know, just, just do it. And one. Everybody walk. Look at Neil up in the front. <sighs> Your knee hurting? Yeah. It's killing me. It is? Oh, God. Your knees really start killing you, you've got to turn back because I don't want you pushing yourself to an extreme. I'm not turning back, Bob. There was one point in time we hit the hike where it was a question if I had to go back. And I, they told me, you know, don't be stubborn. But, you know, there's a sense of I have to do this for myself. I don't care what it takes me all day. We're not going to quit. Neil was like, I'm not quitting, Bob. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I mean, my team did a great job on that hike. OK, you guys, we're going to make it to the top. <laughs> Yeah. I promised myself I would, and I kept pushing, I kept fighting, and I got there. It was a real good sense of accomplishment. It felt good. Look at all these mountains that need to be climbed before you go back <laughs> home. All these mountains. I need to lose weight. I need to be here so that I can live, so I can be at my, my son's college 
graduations and my daughter's weddings. And when they get their first real job, um, if I really want to be there for them, I need to do this for me. Didn't stop, even when it got so hard. Did you stop? No. Did you do everything I tell you to do? I want to do everything you say. That's right. Everybody grab a log. <sighs> Jog the loop, here we go. Do not walk! Jog! What team are you? Black, Black team. team! What team are you? Black, Black team. team! Jog! We were rejected and we left standing in the dirt, wiping our tears while the rest drove away triumphant in a bus. So that, above anything else, has united us. You know, we, we want to come back and prove that we were worthy. Good, keep it going. Up! <laughs> Most of them have never worked out before. They're working out four hours a day in the middle of nowhere with logs and 96 degree heat. It's aggressive. It's aggressive mentally, it's aggressive physically, but you know, the best warriors are forged in fire. When we go back in that house, we are going to crush the competition. Close, but close, but not yet. When they go into the house, the air-conditioned gym is going to be a joke to them. You know, when you've walked 100 miles through hell, that gym is going to be like a walk in the park. And these guys are going to be ready for anything when I'm done with them. Anything. What percentage of Americans say they eat fast food as a family meal once a week? 10%, 29%. 51% or 70%. Stay tuned. The answer will be revealed during the commercial break. We asked what percentage of Americans say they eat fast food as a family meal once a week. The correct answer is 51%. Dude, this is like my nightmare right here. These? All of this. You better find something other than this. When I saw Bee's lunch, all I could think to myself is, why did I just spend the last week teaching you how to eat if this is the best you could come up with right now? String cheese and jello. That's great for a snack, but when you're fueling your body with a meal to go through an intense workout, I, I couldn't imagine what he was thinking. And as a trainer, I just thought, where did I go so wrong that he didn't get it? You're allergic to fish, okay. so we can't do that. Right. We're trying to stay low calorie, so we're not eating a lot of beef. I just want to show you there's so many other alternatives out there, so oh. we're going to make tacos. Let's do it. So, actually, go ahead and grab the Genio turkey out of the fridge. Genio turkey? Turkey was one thing that we were like, okay, let's go ahead and throw some turkey in your diet. And for him, I think it was kind of a relief to just have something different. So, why do we eat turkey? How much protein? Uh, we have, 20, wow, 26 grams of protein per serving. So, it's low in calories, high in protein, and low in fat. Perfect. Plus See if Mr. Picky Boy likes it. That's pretty good. It's doable. Pretty good. Good, so eat turkey. I like it. Pre-challenge workout, let's do it. I will tell you the number one thing that's gonna get you through this challenge and every other challenge is wanting it bad enough. It is completely mind over matter. The pre-challenge workout for me is more than anything, just giving him a boost of, hey, you can do anything you want, just mentally power your way through it. Amy, you have to stand up. You can't, you can't do that leaning on the machine. Are you going to fall off of this? You're not going to fall off unless you want to fall off. You want to fall, you know, you actually, you can quit if you want. You can, you can totally quit. It's okay. Be done. Join Amber. How much longer? You tell me. I don't know, because this thing is going to count down. You tell me. How much longer do you want to go? <laughs> you can quit any time. I'm not going to quit, but it hurts. God, let it hurt. Push it. Good. There is no room for weakness anymore. You will train with each other. You will lift each other up. You will carry each other through. Do you understand me? Yes. My team's not thinking about competing in challenges. I'm challenged enough for my team, let me tell you. Are you the throwaway, Julie? No! What are you going to do in this house? <laughs> I'm like 
Julie the sweet one, you know, the nice one. And it feels so nice for once in my life to be a rebel and to come back kicking and screaming, saying, you know what? You should have thought about this before you voted me out. Think of the red team. Think of the blue team. Hard. Kick them hard. Hit her harder. Make her cry. Being here as the cast off, it's going to make us that much stronger. We've just had time to really focus on each other, to, to grow as a team and grow as individuals, rather than the challenges and temptations and all of those things. That's a lot to think about. All the way down. Go. Do not quit on me, Holly. You need three more. Go. No. Yes. Come on, Holly. Yes. Yes. What are our choices? To do three more? Or... Or what? Not do anything. And then what happens? Nothing will change. Let's do three more. I know that Jillian thinks that I'm not ready to go into the house, and that's okay. But if I continue to focus like I have been, I think I will be ready. I'm not saying it won't be hard, but I think that I can do it. Go! Go! All I know is this, when it comes to the challenge, it's going to involve stairs. We lost the last challenge, so we just need to win this one. We just have to work our butts off and, and hope that, you know, we can pull it off. Jerry picked strong people for a reason, to win challenges. If they give you the Mount Everest of stairs, you better be like this, bring it on. I left them so amped up, ready to go. I'm like, whatever happens, guys, just do your best. Bring home a win for the blue team. One, two, three. Blue team! Hi, everyone. Welcome to week two. It's been amazing watching you take these first steps towards a new, healthier lifestyle. Tonight, you will be taking more steps. <laughs> a lot more steps. Coming up, the black team finds out they're back in the game. You guys do not know what you're walking into. Keep going. And Jillian has one last chance to make sure her warriors are ready for battle. How many jumping jacks would you have to do to burn off the calories in a pint of chocolate ice cream? 2,000, 5,000, 8,000, or 12,000? Stay tuned. The answer will be revealed during the commercial break. We asked how many jumping jacks you'd have to do to burn off the calories in a pint of chocolate ice cream. The correct answer is 8,000 jumping jacks. Hi, everyone. Welcome to week two. It's been amazing watching you take these first steps towards a new, healthier lifestyle. Tonight, you will be taking more steps. <laughs> a lot more steps. We are standing in front of a 10-story building. And as you can see, someone has left the lights on. Well, you all are going to take care of that. We just see this huge building with these massive stairs. And we're like, oh, crap. We have to climb that. There are two stairwells, one for the red team and one for the blue. One by one, a member from each team will run up the stairs and flip the light off on one of the floors. When you hit the switch, a light representing your team's color, red or blue, will go on. The first team to turn their half of the building, all red or all blue, and get back down to the starting line, wins. I was like, there's no way our team is going to make it all the way up to the top and win this challenge. Now that winning team is going to win something pretty valuable. One member from the winning team will win immunity at the next wave. I think any time immunity is involved, it definitely raises the stakes. There's no question about that. You know, everybody's fighting to stay here as long as I can. Okay, we have some injuries to deal with tonight. Neil, Ryan, what happened? Well, we went for a hike the other day, and on the way down, my foot started hurting. And how about you, Ryan? I had some blood work that came back with some irregular levels. I think I may be working too hard. <laughs> Since you guys aren't going to be able to compete, the red team needs to choose one member that's going to sit out tonight. Red team captain Phil, tell us. Uh, Leslie's going to sit out. We agreed that I would sit out. Basically, I didn't want to do it. Ready? One, two, three! Blue team! 
All right, I need one player from the red team and one player from the blue team. To take your positions. You're up first. All right. On your mark. Get set. Go. Okay. Sprinting to the door. Okay, first one to take the stairs. David's right behind her. Keep moving, baby. Keep moving. Okay, quickly move it up. David's only one floor behind. Hey, it's almost at the seventh floor. She is there. I got through that doorway. I just put it in that next gear. I wasn't gonna lose again, the old man. I'm gonna win this. Now I'm gonna die trying. How many spoonfuls of sugar are in a single can of cola? One, three, five, or seven? Stay tuned. The answer will be revealed during the commercial break. We asked how many spoonfuls of sugar were in a single can of cola. The correct answer is seven. That's about the same amount of sugar you'd get by eating four chocolate donuts. Two team captains facing off. It's not just about who lights up this floor, it's about who comes back down and crosses that finish line first.
We were behind the blue team the entire race. And then coming down, Phil was just hauling to the finish line. You couldn't have asked for a better race. It was perfect. Congratulations, Red Team. That was an amazing win. Now we got to win a way in. We got to win a way in. We got to win a way in. I hate to lose. Uh, especially, I got tired of always losing to Jerry. Jerry versus Phil is turning into Ali Frazier pretty damn quick. <laughs> ah! You start from the desert, and Jerry just barely beat Phil. And this time, Phil just found a way to do it, and it was amazing. It was a photo finish, to say the least. It was a good show to watch. OK, Red Team, it is time to find out which one of you will win immunity and be guaranteed a spot on the Biggest Loser campus for at least another week. One by one, you are each going to step up to this table and flick one of those switches. But only one switch will grant immunity. So you flip that switch, and you'll light up all your floors in red. First up, Leslie. Go ahead, Mama. You are not winning immunity. When I stepped up to the plate, I really didn't want the immunity. I felt like my team had participated in the challenge. They deserved it more than I did. There are four switches left. One of them is the lucky switch. Up next, Phil. Let's go, go ahead, Big Daddy. Figure we finish in first, I'll pick number one. OK, Phil. Did not win immunity, That's so there right. are three switches left. David, it's your turn. Come on, David. There were five light switches. I just tried to find some method to my count. One for each of the children that I have at home, and one for my loving and supportive wife. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> yes, I needed that. Woo! It's always nice to have a. Safety. A safety in your back pocket, absolutely. Knowing that I'm absolutely going to be here for another week, it makes you feel good. On one hand, it, you, you think, well, maybe I can relax a little bit, but you can't. You, you can't take any days off here. If you take a day off, you're going to get behind. Congratulations, Red Team. Congratulations, David. you got to put up with me for one I more do. week, at I least. Do I have winners out here? No. Negative. Okay, wait, wait. I don't know anything about the challenge. It involves stairs. That's all I know. So tell me. How'd you do? I just, well, apparently, I didn't do well enough. He was beating Phil for the longest time. It was only to the end when Phil totally booked it. Well, I mean, hello. Phil had something to prove. You beat him day one out of the desert. You beat him in the weigh-in. So all of a sudden, he was like, I'm not going to let this old man beat me today. I, you know, I gave it all I had. After finding out about this whole challenge, it was my job to get them into the gym and focus on why they're really here. And they're here to lose weight. No team has ever won the first two weigh-ins. None. It's not been done. So I have worked you harder than I have ever worked in week two with my team. Let's win this weigh-in so we can be six strong to try to win the next challenge. You lose as many challenges as we have to, but we got to get them where it hurts. It hurts with the weigh-in even more. So if we get our sights set on that, then we're ready to make some history. If we don't win this second weigh-in, there was nothing else we could have done. I'm genuinely worried about you. I don't know, with low intensity, if you're just going too low or what, but I'm looking at your body bug, and I'm like, what the hell are you doing when I'm not here? <laughs> I mean, this next weigh-in is honestly making me sick to my stomach. I cannot lose two people back to back. When I'm not here, this is my tool to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this thing is so great because you can totally see where you're burning calories and where you're not. When I'm not here, I don't want this to go down here all the way. The body bag is a really neat little device that they wear on their arm that I can access from my computer at home 
who's working and who's not. You guys are kind of active, kind of active, a little bit active, and then I come and you're really active, and then I leave, and then you're active. active. No, it's just so because I'm usually the one that's down there. And that is what we need to figure out. It was very frustrating to hear that there's a thought in her head that maybe I'm not giving 100% when I think I'm giving 110. I mean, I don't want to give up. I'm trying to lose weight, but, you know, it's just this is always been such a battle for me and it doesn't feel like it's ever gonna end just be aware that i am watching this and well i mean i just don't even want to hear this because i'm working as hard as i can i know you're working hard but unfortunately the nature of the game here is we don't want to let somebody else well, work I mean... harder this is it we're going back we're joining the red team we're joining the blue team my black team on week one, uh, they were pretty defeated. And uh, now I think they're empowered. They are physically ready. They are mentally ready. And they definitely have blood in their mouth. You guys have been through two weeks of hell. You really have. And you have come so far from day one. I mean, what you're doing now is incredible. You never thought you could have gotten through this day one. Never. And look at you now. We weren't exactly sure when we'd be going back into the group, and uh, Jillian just told us that it was this week. It caught us all off guard, you know? You got butterflies and you're anxious, but at the same time, I mean, we're ready for battle. When you think you can't do more, you remember what you've already accomplished and everything you've already been through, and you use it. We want to come back and prove that we were worthy, which, you know, as a heavy person, you spend your whole life trying to prove that. So I'm hoping that we're going to go in there and just wipe, oh, I hope we wipe them out. I hope we wipe this slate clean with red and blue shirts, you know, just, oh, just wipe them out. You're going to feel afraid. Feel the fear and then do it anyway. We're ready to go and uh, kick some serious butt and they're going to have to probably look over their shoulders a bit because uh, we're coming. This is not going to be easy. They are not going to be friendly. Which fast food item has the most calories? A bacon double cheeseburger, a 22-ounce chocolate milkshake, a medium order of french fries, or a medium order of onion rings? Stay tuned. The answer will be revealed during the commercial break. We asked which fast food item has the most calories. The correct answer is a 22-ounce chocolate milkshake at a whopping 690 calories. physically can't put anything down, what do you want me to do? Fine, let's find other things. What, 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 what? do you want to eat? What do you want nothing to... I can stomach right now other than a shake. That's why I'm going to make a shake. The biggest thing I'm struggling with right now is hitting my calories. I, I work out all day. There's times I work out, I can't put a single thing in my stomach or I feel like I'm going to throw it back up. So I think the nutrition aspect, I think I know what I should be eating. It's just a matter of getting it down and keeping it down. It's been my hardest part. You can't choke down things. If you choke down things, you're going to go back to 460 pounds again because you weighed 460. Is that correct? We don't want to. So your slow metabolism that I'm trying to get fueled up and up and burning, so you're just like hungry and you're feeling like you're burning, you're dragging your feet, which only says to me, you're not gonna lose any weight. I mean, I'm trying to do the best I can for you. I know that, Bob, and I appreciate that. But it's like if I can't physically stomach anything, I don't know what other alternative there so, is. And this is what we're gonna do. Okay? Let's get through this way in. Let's win this way in so you'll be here next week, and then you and I will find the things that you are going to enjoy eating. Fine. Okay? Fair enough. I've been driving Neil crazy all week because the body needs food to lose weight, and that is the one of the best things that anybody that could ever watch The Biggest Loser will learn. There's no way we can starve our people. There is no way we can make them not eat. They have got to eat. All you're focused on right now is winning this way in. Look at yourself. Visualize yourself on that scale. Last chance training session, Jerry. You lost 31 pounds last week. You could get up on that scale and lose nothing. Five, four, good, K. Three, two, one. One more. This last workout, that was a little bit more about tapping into the you know the, the mental part of the game we're all tired at this point and it's sort of how to finding how we're gonna work hard 
and work through our tiredness. We want to do what has never been done at the Biggest Loser House, is to win the first two weigh-in. 15 seconds, 35 seconds, 20 seconds, 15 seconds. What are you going to run, Patty? Five. Five. Five two. Five two. two. Nice. Last chance, guys. Do everything you can. Win the first two weigh-ins. Do whatever you can. Fast, 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 fast. 15 seconds. My team has done every single thing I have asked. They have pushed themselves to more extremes already, week two, than anything's ever happened in this house. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's Patty, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, mother, wife. Friend. Can you believe what you're able to do two weeks in? Look at me. Look at me. How proud are you of yourself? How proud are you? How proud are you? How proud are you? Very proud. That's how a girl's gonna win this show. That's how a girl's gonna win this show. I got off the thing and Bob was so encouraging that um, it was really emotional for me. He's like, that. there she is, mom, friend, wife, team mate. And that just, it just made me realize I am all those things. And I have a lot of strengths. And he helped me see those strengths. You're good. You're doing good. You're doing good. Keep fighting, keep fighting. We had a whole week full of easy. This is your last chance to kick it up a little bit and kick butt on the scale. What part of run? Don't you know it. I hate running. You know what? You know what I hate? I hate whining. You know what I hate? I hate losing win-ins. You know what else I hate? Elimination, weigh-ins. I don't want to lose a weigh-in. There's all kinds of things I don't like. Suck it up. I'm tired of hearing it. I mean, honestly, I've let you guys go easy all week long and we're going to pay for it on the scale. You know who's going to be the blame? Me. You know who's going to feel bad? Me. Today's last chance workout was all about, I'm tired of hearing the whining. I'm tired of it. My three guys are solid as a rock. They don't complain. They get through it no matter what. The girls, I'm tired of the whining. I am sick and tired of the boo-hoo, this, that, and the other. Use your arms. Do you see the difference? This is not using your arms. This is using your arms. I don't care if you guys are barely moving. I want your bodies upright. You have to want this. I can want it for you so bad, but until you want it, it's not going to happen. This is what you're here for. You're here to work hard. So come over here and let's do this. <sighs> Last chance workout, and Amy walked out on that. She didn't walk out on herself, she walked out on the team. I see everybody on this team working as hard as they can, but we need to be five strong, not four strong, and one not. I think we're all kind of bummed out that she, she missed the last chance workout with the team. You know, it's, this is a tough mental game, period. Everybody here is out of their element, that everybody here misses their family, everybody misses their kids. I know that um, going home wouldn't be what's best for me and what's best for my health. It's just like there's something missing, you know? And I know it's my family, so... I know I need to be here, but, you know, I can't... I'm trying to convince my heart of it, it's something different. <sighs> Coming up, the black team sends a shockwave through the campus when they arrive at the weigh-in. Black is back. We're here. How will the red and blue teams face the players they thought they sent home? Oh, hell no! The average person faces how many food-related decisions in a typical day? 12, 50, 100, or 200? Stay tuned. The answer will be revealed during the commercial break. 
we asked how many food-related decisions the average person faces in a typical day. The correct answer is 200. You okay? Looks like you're having a tough time. What's up, honey? I'm a competitive guy, and I want to win this weigh-in. But when I saw Amy sitting there, I didn't see a girl in a red shirt. I just saw a girl upset, and I just wanted to talk to her. What's wrong? <laughs> Let's go. You guys, why don't you jump on? Yeah, the, we'll uh, go. Jump I'll on go cardio. Over. I'll be right there. What's going on? I'm so hard time wanted to be here with a two and a four year old at home. I think it, it, it makes sense. Of course you're missing them. I mean, it would be unnatural for you not to miss them. But it's just like, it's like suffocating me, you know? Try to take advantage of this opportunity, though, because this is a big opportunity. I know. And you're going to be around a lot longer for them. Bob's encouraging words made me feel a lot better. He just, you know, told me about how, you know, losing the weight and getting healthy is going <laughs> to give me so much more once I'm home. Thanks, Bob. our last chance workout it's not only last chance before we weigh in but last chance before we go back into the house these are the people that voted you out these are the people that did not want you are you ready to go back yes. this is not going to be a walk in the park you guys they are not going to be happy to see us jillian just ran us ragged for our last chance workout and kind of put it all in perspective where we've been where we're going and um we're strong. We're strong like a tidal wave. You have come a long way from that day in the desert. Haven't you? Yeah. Haven't you? Ma'am, Jelly, ma'am. That's right. I know if I was on another team and I saw, you know, the people who were cast aside with Jillian, the biggest rebel of them all, I would be a little bit panicked. In, up. We're the underdogs. Five, so there's no greater cause than the underdogs. This is the last time before we go into that house. You guys do not know what you're walking into. Keep going. I can't wait for the black team to move into the house. We were the ones they left to rot in the desert. And they expected by now we would be at home eating Twinkies again. Come on, run back. And we're going to come back way stronger than I think anyone ever expected. And I can't wait to see the looks on their faces. Ah! Are you ready to go back? Yeah. Yes. Ready. So listen, hopefully we're not going to go to elimination this next this week, but we have to, we have to, well, yeah, we do, but we, we got to figure out how we're going to, you know, if it does happen, what we're going to do, because now Amber's gone, we're only the only two women left. I think the, the potential alliances lie in the women, you know what I mean? I, I really think they do. I think all the women will probably lean towards sticking together to make sure that, you know, we're here in the end. If we end up going to elimination, it's going to take three votes to vote somebody yeah. off. Um, so it's me and you, and then we're going to have to, like, Convince find somebody to be on our side. Just remember that if I'm gone, you'll be next. Right. And if you go, I'll be next. So. We're well, we gotta manipulate this situation. <laughs> we'll stick together. <laughs> I hope that, that they recognize what they've lost. They thought they got rid of us already one time, and now we're back. We're gonna sneak in without them knowing and really kind of just take over. They thought that, you know, we were six people they didn't have to worry about anymore, and that's obviously wrong. Welcome, black team, Jillian, to the Biggest Loser campus. I'm happy to be here 
on campus with a real gym, finally, you know. Not only are we going to shock the hell out of the blue and red teams, we'll probably hammer them with our numbers also, because we've all been losing a lot of weight. They're going to be sorry. I think blue's going to be competitive, but I want us to win the way in. We need to win a way in bad. We don't need to lose any teammates. The doors to the weigh-in room are going to open, and the black team is going to be dominating their scale, but nothing is theirs anymore because it's now black territory. We're worried because we had such strong numbers the first week, unlike the red team. And historically speaking, there has never been a team who won the first two weigh-ins. However, nobody on our team is ready to go home. I think when the blue and red teams see the black team on the scale, they will be looking at a pack of warriors, not to be underestimated. The red and the blue team had an opportunity to pick us, and they didn't, and so now we're going to pick them off one at a time. When those doors open up and those two teams see that we're there and we're looking good, I think it's going to hit them that. They made a mistake. They made a big freaking mistake. Because they're going home soon, one by one. Oh. <laughs> it was a complete shock. I mean, it really was. Oh man, when we walked into that weigh-in and seen that black team, it got me riled up. It just didn't seem fair. Oh, hell no! We walked into the weigh-in, and lo and behold, there was the black team staring right at us, and Jillian was right in the front, showing her big muscles. You miss me? I've worked with Jillian for a long time. I know that she brings her A game at all times. So I was, I was even more nervous. When those doors open, the first thing I see is Jillian. And the competitor side of me was just like, oh, no way, I can't believe she's back. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. That was nice. Nice you. Oh, this is a new little twist. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to make a big splash. That just makes us a target. I don't want to be a target. Barbie and Ken can duke it out. I just want to sail my people to the end. Red team, blue team, meet the black team. They're the black sheep. I'm going to tell you that right up. They're the black sheep coming in here. Uh, we've been a family for two weeks. And to be honest, I was quite pissed off. I sent somebody home, I thought, and that's been weighing on me the whole time. But that doesn't mean that we're going to let them win. They still have to, they, they got to climb over the mountain. They're not going to go through this mountain. These six contestants were left in the desert because Phil and Jerry, you didn't pick them for your teams. There's still that little hint of resentment against the two who didn't choose us. And uh, I was looking straight at Phil. And uh, he was looking back at me, and it kind of seemed like he was trying to break me. He blinked first, so he blinked first, Phil. They are ready to show you how far they've come. They're ready to rejoin the game, starting with tonight's way. We haven't been around them, so I don't know where they've been. I don't know what they've been doing. I just know they haven't been with us, and they haven't been working as hard as us. So I'm really not concerned about the black team at this point. My concern was the blue team. Red and blue teams, you both did an amazing job at last week's weigh-in. But the blue team came out on top with a total percentage of weight loss of 5.81%. No team in Biggest Loser history has ever won the first two weigh-ins. So blue team, you have your work cut out for you tonight. What you don't know is that the black team had their own weigh-in last week in the desert. And tonight they will have the chance to prove themselves for the first time on the Biggest Loser scale. First weigh-in, 21 pounds. I really do think that I've, uh, I've added to that total this week. We've been going crazy working out, and I, I'm excited to know what that scale is going to read tonight. The team with the greatest percentage of weight loss will win the weigh-in. 
the team with the lowest percentage of weight loss will be heading to elimination. David, since you won immunity at the last challenge, even if the red team loses tonight, you won't be sent home. Jerry, you're going to kick things off with the blue team. All right. Let's do it, buddy. Last week, Jerry, you lost 31 pounds, the most weight ever lost by a contestant on The Biggest Loser in a single weigh-in. This is a new week, though. Your previous weight was 266 pounds. Your current weight is... Two hundred and fifty. Oh, For Jerry to lose ten pounds after dropping thirty-one pounds, that's an insane number. That's shocking. Nicole, it's your turn. Get on the scale. Go, Nicole. Nicole, last week you lost eight pounds. And your previous weight was two hundred and seventy-one pounds. Your current weight is. Yes! 65 pounds. You lost six pounds this week. Blue team's total weight loss so far, 16 pounds. Patty, you're next. Go, Patty! Your previous weight was 267 pounds. And your current weight is... Two hundred and sixty-five pounds. You lost two pounds this week. It's two pounds less. When I saw that two-pound loss, I, I was almost thinking, "Wait, this thing is broken." I mean, it's this is stupid. I was, I wanted, to, <laughs> I wanted to kick that scale. It's okay. You did good. You did good. Three down, blue team, and three more to go. To see that she didn't have as high a number this week as, as normal, you know, it definitely makes you feel like you may have a chance. So we were definitely thinking positive we would be able to, you know, snuff him out this week. Ryan, it's your turn. Good morning. Ryan, your previous weight was 359 pounds. Your current weight is... Your current weight is 349 pounds. You lost 10 pounds this week. A little bit closer to 300. As I was watching the blue team weigh in, I was just thinking, oh my God, Bobby means business. You know, we're very, very friendly, but we're also fierce competitors. Brian, your 10 pound loss this week brings the blue team's total to 28 pounds. Okay, last week you lost 20 pounds more than any other woman in a single weigh-in. We've got some impressed faces over here. Nice job, Kay. Wow. Let's see how you did this week. Let's do it, Kay. Let's do it. I tell Kay, don't expect anything. Just don't. Kay, your previous weight was 205 pounds. Your current weight is... current weight is 200 pounds. You lost five pounds this week. Woo! Yeah. All of us on the black team felt a little nervous looking at the numbers that some people were pulling, but I don't think they're gonna be any match for us. Neil, you are the last member of the blue team to weigh in. You've had a little bit of an injury this week to deal with. Are you nervous? I've been pretty frustrated with it all week, you know, trying to sitting out some of the exercises, but uh, Bob told me to stay positive. Neil, let's find out how you did. <laughs> Neil, your previous weight was 399 pounds. Your current weight is... 389 pounds. You lost 10 pounds this week. See, a 10 spot felt good. Just, it made me feel that even though I may have an injury, there's still ways to work around it. And, you know, I don't want to make excuses for why I can't lose weight. Okay, blue team, you've all weighed in. Your total weight loss is 43 pounds. Your total percentage of weight loss is 2.43%. Remember, two teams will be safe tonight, and one team will go to the elimination room. Red team, you're up next. To beat the blue team's percentage, you will have to have lost more than 38 pounds. 
We can do that. I felt really good going into the weigh-in. My team has worked so hard this week, and I am so proud of them. Let's see how you did this week, B. All right, perfect. Oh. All right, Pete. Woo! Your previous weight was 331 pounds. Your current weight is... Three hundred and twenty-five pounds. You lost six pounds this week. Good job, good job. I'll be honest with you. We've we've come to learn here that when you put up big numbers one week, it's almost inevitable that you're going to have a lower number the next week. It's, it's it's just like the roll of the dice. You know who who the hell knows what's going to happen? Am I going to get snake eyes? Am I going to get seven eleven? I don't know. Amy, you're up. <laughs> Amy, last week you lost ten pounds. Your previous weight was 287 pounds. You seem very excited to find out what your new weight is. It's just nerve wracking, so I'm just glad to, you know, see how I did this week. All right, well, let's find out. Okay. Current weight is... 285. And your current weight is 285 pounds. You lost two pounds this week. Wait in. You know, I'd kind of hoped the happy ending to sort of a sad week with her, and it didn't happen. And as easy as to say that she wants to go home, I know she doesn't. So far, red team, we've lost a total of eight pounds. Two down, three more to go. Leslie, you're next. Leslie, your previous weight was 246 pounds. Your current weight is... 6. Leslie, your current weight is 243 pounds. You lost three pounds this week. You don't seem happy. I'm happy it's going down. I mean, man, I worked my butt off this week. You know, three pounds in the real world, I'd be ecstatic. But I'm not. I'm in the Biggest Loser campus. And three pounds is nothing. I wanted more, too. Don't worry. But get it. Your weight loss this week brings the red team's total so far to 11 pounds. Okay, red team, you have two team members left to weigh in. And in order to beat the blue team, David and Phil need to have lost a combined total of more than 27 pounds. David, you're up. You know, when there's the two biggest guys left to weigh in, you know, um, I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. However, it's not unheard of, I and mean, they could do it. David, your previous weight was 348 pounds. Your current weight is 6. In order to beat the blue team, David and Phil need to have lost a combined total of more than 27 pounds. David, you're up. I am waiting for the ball to drop. You can feel the tension. The black team has fully realized that we're walking into a game that they've been playing for two weeks and a game that means a lot to a lot of people. David, your previous weight was 348 pounds. Your current weight is... ...344 pounds. You lost four pounds this week. It's very disheartening, but can't look at it as, as unsuccessful. But you got to go back to the drawing board and figure out, you know, is there something I, need, I can tweak just a little bit and make that four and eight, make that eight, you know, a 16. You know, I got I to gotta keep pushing. You grimaced. Well, I mean, just like everybody said, four pounds is a lot in a week. You know, you just like to see bigger numbers. But I'm not going to quit. Not going to quit. Even though he had already had immunity, David, he busted his ass this week. I thought he was going to pull a big number. It was just one of those feelings that hopefully that we both had big weeks and that was going to be the surprise. Okay, red team, 
weeks. You've lost 15 pounds. Phil, it's up to you. You need to have lost more than 23 pounds to beat the blue team. Last week, you lost 26 pounds. So let's see how you did this week. Right off the bat, you have to look at Phil as a huge threat because the guy does have a lot of weight to lose. You know, he looks like a, like a professional football player. Uh, I'd love for the Giants to pick up Phil, <laughs> put him on the offensive line. Phil, your previous weight was 377 pounds. Your current weight is... Your current weight is 372 pounds. You lost five pounds this week. It was a slap in the face when he saw that number roll up. I thought I at least had double digits. You haven't lost the weigh in yet. The black team still has to be weighed in. We were raised with they, what they've done. We really thought red team was going to be a force to be reckoned with. And seeing that red really didn't have that great of a week, it kind of made me feel a little bit better. Your weight loss this week brings the red team's total weight loss to 20 pounds. The red team's total percentage of weight loss is 1.26%. And that means the blue team has beat out the red team two weeks in a row. Blue team, you're in the lead and you're safe from elimination this week. Woo! All right. <laughs> Nobody on the blue team is going home. I've done my job. With that said, I know Jillian well enough that she's going to walk in and go like this. I'm back and I'm going to show you what you've missed out on. One team will still be sending someone home. Will it be the red team or the black team? After the red and blue team both weighed in, uh, all I could think of, uh, you know, we're the black team. Let's not be satisfied with, uh, with second place. You know, let's, let's prove something to all of them. So our goal was to win this way in. Okay, black team, are you ready to show the red team and the blue team what you all are capable of? Yeah, yeah. baby. In order to beat the red team's percentage and stay out of elimination, you will have to have lost more than 22 pounds. You need to lose 42 pounds to beat the blue team and win your first win. Holly, you're up for the black team. Okay. Let's go, Holly. Do it, Holly. Do it. Do it. Do it. I think that we all definitely felt a little nervous because it was our first win. We didn't know what to expect, but we wanted to let them know that you know, we're obviously not the rejects, and they couldn't have picked six more wrong people to be on the team of rejects. Your previous weight was 244 pounds. Your current weight is... 242 pounds. You lost two pounds this week, Holly. How do you feel? It's amazing. It felt like a lot more. <laughs> But yet it was two. When Holly stepped on the scale, I was I was really I was anticipating a bigger number. So it, it kind of brought it to reality that this is gonna be a lot closer than I thought. So the black team starts off with a weight loss of two pounds. Isabeau, you're up. Isabeau, your previous weight was 290 pounds. Your current weight is... 90. Isabeau, your current weight is 285 pounds. You lost five pounds this week. I think the red and blue team underestimate us right now. I think that they don't fully comprehend exactly how hard we've been training. Are you excited about getting to the campus and working out here? I'm really glad to see everyone. It's, we've been talking about you guys a lot and when we were running up the sand dune with 35 pound sandbags that we ran down that first day, I was definitely wishing I was here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here with my team. Good job, there's a boat. Black team, that brings your total weight loss so far to seven pounds. Okay, remember, black team, in order to beat out the red team and avoid elimination, you need to lose more than 22 pounds. Jez, it's your turn to get on that scale. Let's go, I can't deny that I wanted to go up there and have a pretty big number. 
I can even tell that I'm losing weight, and, and hopefully they saw that I was leaner and stronger and um, ready to do business. Your previous weight was 329 pounds, and your current weight is... weight is 320 pounds. You lost nine pounds. I've never worked out before in my life. And uh, I, in two weeks, I've lost 25 pounds. And I'm getting stronger by the day. That means I'm going to go that much farther. Your weight loss, Jez, brings the black team's total weight loss so far to... 16 pounds. Okay, black team, we're halfway through. You're weighing and you need to lose more than 22 pounds to avoid elimination. Julie, you're next. Are you nervous about tonight's weigh-in? Yes. Is there some added pressure associated with weighing in in front of the red team and the blue team? I think that we want to prove that we have a right to be here, so that adds a little pressure. Let's see how you did. Okay. Good. Good. Julie, your previous weight was 216 pounds. Your current weight is... Two hundred and thirteen pounds. You lost three pounds last week. Losing a total of five pounds is pretty sad to me. I mean, I'm I'm trying not to let myself be affected by it because you know it's better than gaining five pounds or staying the same. But you know, I'm just hoping that every week it'll get better and better. And that brings the black team's total so far to nineteen pounds. And that just leaves two. The twins, Bill and Jim, you need to have lost more than three pounds between the two of you in order to beat out the red team and avoid elimination. Bill, let's find out how you did. Whoa. They didn't think that we could do it. That's why they didn't pick us. Now that we're here, we're not here to play. We're here to win. Shock them back into the reality of the fact that this competition is just beginning. Bill, your previous weight was 313 pounds. Your current weight is... 300. Bill and Jim, you need to have lost more than three pounds between the two of you in order to beat out the red team and avoid elimination. Bill, last week in the desert, you lost 21 pounds. That's right. Let's see how you did this week. Bill, your previous weight is 313 pounds. <laughs> Bill, your current weight is 301 pounds. Very excited about that. You've lost 12 pounds this week. That didn't suck. Okay, that means that the black team has beaten the red team. I'm sorry, red team, but that means you all will face another elimination tomorrow. Hey, we're pros at it. <laughs> all right, well... Congratulations, Bill. We're going to add your 12-pound weight loss this week to the black team. You've lost a total of 31 pounds so far. Now, blue team, black team, you're both safe from elimination this week, but uh, the question is, who has bragging rights? Who is taking first place in the weigh-in tonight? Okay, Jim, you lost 11 pounds last week. For your team to beat the blue team this week and take first place in this weigh-in, you need to have lost more than 11 pounds this week. Get up there, Jimmy. Let's, Let's see how go, you did. <laughs> Knowing that we've beaten the red team, it wasn't satisfying. We wanted to win the whole thing. I always loved being the underdog. You know what? They counted us out. For some reason, they didn't uh, pick us on their teams, and um, they're going to be a bit sorry. Jim, your previous weight was 350 pounds.
Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Man, I was just getting used to Kim, and now what? I got Jillian to deal with? Here we go again. Your current weight is 334 pounds. You lost 16 pounds this week. Excellent. After being the rejects, and to come in there on their own territory and uh, beat them at their own game, we wanted them to realize that we're a force to be reckoned with. Jim, that brings your team's total weight loss to... 47 pounds. Congratulations, black team, you did it. You were the ones that no one wanted, and now you have just taken the first place at this weigh-in. Red team, I'm so sorry, but you have lost the weigh-in. My God, we lost, and we didn't lose by a few points. We lost by a lot of pounds. B, you lost six pounds this week, which means that you are the biggest loser for the red team, and you cannot be eliminated tomorrow night. And David, you won immunity at the challenge this week, which means you also can't be eliminated. But everyone else on your team is at risk of going home. Red team, you have until tomorrow night to decide who is weighing you down. So I'll see you then. Good night, everyone. Good night. In my opinion, we got to look at what's going to keep our team strongest, you know, and try to get, try to continue to get through it. Charles, tell me what you think. Well, I'm just trying to figure out who. You know what I'm saying? I mean, attitude or weight. This is what you're here for. You're here to work hard. So come over here and let's do this. Go with the way. I don't know. I don't know. You're kind of at a, at a split decision right now. The toughest part for me in this whole deal is the gameplay. I'm kind of soft hearted just because I care. You know, I want to see everybody achieve their goals, but, you know, that, that hard ass side of me has to come out and say, this is a game. Why don't you see Phil as a threat? Huh? Why don't you see Phil as a threat? I didn't say that I didn't see him as a threat. You don't, you don't, you do? I mean, yeah. I absolutely do. Everybody here is a threat. Well, why would you say that? Because I, I just, like, I don't understand why, you know, if you're thinking of you in the game, why he wouldn't be your immediate option. You know, I know we gotta, we gotta keep a strong team somehow. Okay. That being said, if you're looking for a strong team, David, I, I think I'm the obvious choice. I understand that. I, Game's I, on. I can put up a, a bigger number than she can. Just for the sheer fact that I weigh more than she does. I have yeah. more body fat, stronger than she is, and more athletic. Just remember that if I'm gone, you'll be next. Right. And if you go, I'll be next. So we're women. we got to manipulate this situation. We'll stick together. I mean, you guys got to do what you got to do, but... I mean, I hate this. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it, you know, but if you're looking for a strong team, then me. Okay, let's go get a workout. You know? Give me some time to think about all this stuff. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. I mean that. Right now, I don't have a solid decision. My gut right now points in a different direction than where I was pointing when I woke up this morning. be here for my kids because my children are my heart and I need to be here you know to uh, lose the weight and it will just enhance my life in every way my weight is endangering my health I need to learn how to eat healthy I need to learn how to love exercise and I need to go home and teach that to my girls so I can be a role model for them so hopefully they never have to go through this I don't want to go home I go home, I'm faced with the aftermath of Katrina and trying to find a place to live, trying to find a job to support my family. I've got parents that are living with me. I've got a son. I've got an 81-year-old grandmother. This is just one battle I can't, I can't do on my own. It's hard to know that this could be my last day here. 
There's many reasons I want to stay here. Um, obviously, the biggest one is to lose the weight. We've created this family here, and the family's helping you lose the weight. You have no outside distractions. It's almost like we're on our own little world here, and I would like to lose a hell of a lot more weight before I did go home. Hi, Red Team. Welcome to your second elimination. Before we begin, I just want to say that you should all be very proud of yourselves. You know, you've all lost weight, but unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye to one teammate. Amy, did you feel working out this week that your team works out as hard as the blue team? From what we, you know, I've seen, I know that everyone here puts a lot of effort in, but you know, I'm just proud of everyone and um, I'm sure that we'll, we'll come out on top. What about you, Leslie? Is the competition aspect of this game, the gameplay affecting how you think as you go through your day and plan who you're going to vote for? This is definitely a game. I voted play in the game strictly based on that. So we're going to go around the table. You'll each reveal whom you've voted for. And whoever gets the most votes will have to leave the Biggest Loser campus immediately. As you know, David has won immunity at the challenge, so you can't vote for David. And B was the Biggest Loser this week on the red team, so he also has immunity this week. So Amy, Leslie, and Phil, it's down to you three. Phil, you're first. I guess the person I voted for tonight, uh, wow, it's hard to vote for any of us, um, just because we've, we've become so close, and everybody's got the good work ethic, and wants to be here, um, I've got a target on my back, and I've got to watch out for myself now, so I guess, uh, tonight the person I voted for... Just Leslie. Well, that is one vote for you, Leslie. Two more, and you will be eliminated. <clears throat> so, Leslie, it's your turn. I, too, played a numbers game, and it was my decision was strictly based upon um, a long-term strategy. The person that I voted for has l the least amount of body fat, and therefore, I voted for Phil. Okay, that's one vote for Phil and one vote for Leslie. So if either one of you receives two more votes, you will be eliminated. Amy, what were you thinking when you made your vote tonight? Um, I voted for this person simply because I believe that um, if they go home, they will truly be successful. Um, it was an extremely hard decision and um, I, you know, I just want the best for everyone. So for that reason, I voted for. Coming up, BiggestLoserClub.com transformation moment. See for the first time how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. Kickstart your fat burning power with the Biggest Loser Fitness Program. Featuring the drop weight firm up exercise program used on the show. The Biggest Loser Fitness Program, available wherever books are sold. Start today. Amy, what were you thinking when you made your vote tonight? Um, I voted for this person simply because I believe that um, if they go home, they will truly be successful. Um, it was an extremely hard decision, and um, I, you know, I just want the best for everyone. So for that reason, I voted for Bill. Okay. Phil, that's two votes for you. One more and you will be eliminated. Let's say you have one vote. Two more and you will be eliminated. David. 
What were you thinking when you cast your vote today? I thought a lot, actually. Uh, it's, it's stressful, you know, because nobody here wants to go home. It's stressful to have to be in this position again, especially so soon. But we have to cut somebody loose. The person I voted for is Leslie. Leslie, that's two votes for you and two votes for Phil. So, it all comes down to you, B. Wow. How did you make your decision tonight? It was a tough decision for me, Allison. This is one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make in my life because last week it was a decision that we really didn't have to make ourselves. It's hard to say that you love somebody in two weeks, but, you know, as a as you get to know people as a friend, you know, it's, it's that type of bond that you have with them. And, you know, I really do love them as a friend. And anytime they need me, if I'm available, I'll be there for them. But um, with that said... I'm sorry, but I had to vote for Leslie. Leslie, that's three votes. Are you surprised? Somewhat. We're playing a numbers game here. But you know what? This team is going to be four strong. They're going to go for it. And they're going to bring home the goal. I'm proud of this team. You guys are friends. <laughs> it's, um... Amazing to see. Leslie, I'm sorry to tell you, you are not the biggest loser. It's time for you to say goodbye to your teammates. Okay. Y'all yeah. bring it home. All right, baby. This experience has really been a great one for me. It truly has. You know, the biggest thing I'm going to take away from here is who I am. I learned a lot <laughs> about myself. In my mind, not ready to leave, but in my heart, I'm ready for the real world. I'm not going to waste another minute. America, next time you see me, watch out. You will be shocked. When I started on the Biggest Loser campus, I weighed 255 pounds. Today, I weigh 200. I've lost 55 pounds. I get up at 4.15 in the morning. I run three miles. Being on the show afforded me the opportunity to realize that Katrina is my past. I'm tired of crying over this. It's time to let it go and move on. Now, my son and I just have a lovely house. We're ready to put Katrina behind us and that unhealthy lifestyle. There's no turning back. They've lost over 375 pounds, but next Tuesday on an all-new Biggest Loser, they'll be left alone with 400,000 calories worth of food. Oh, my God. Someone will give in to temptation. I don't want to lose any of you guys. And one team will pay the price at the weigh-in. It just broke my heart. An all-new two-hour Biggest Loser, next Tuesday, 8, 7 Central on NBC. Law & Order SVU begins right now, here on NBC.